Hey guys, so like you all know, one of the key factors in choosing a device is how well does it perform. Uh, and for me, I don't put a lot of stock in the synthetic benchmarks like N22 or Geekbench. They're fun to look at for sure, but I don't judge a performance based off of numbers. It is, it is definitely one factor for a lot of folks. Um, I usually judge it by my day-to-day -day usage on the device. How fast does it open the apps, switch between them as I'm actually using them. Um, but I thought I'd try to do a performance test on the HTC 10 as far as app opening. I think that is kind of a, a real world benchmark. Um, but instead of trying to do it manually here with my fingers and trying to time it and tap it at the same time and show you guys the speeds and subjectively say which one is faster, um, I thought I'd try to make it easy and try to automate that. So um, I was able to kind of find an application here, uh, Disco Mark. So if you want to, you can kind of go and read more about what that is, but all it's basically is is a um, automated app opening um, test here. Um, so it just automates the process of opening up all these apps. It'll record the individual app launch times as well as the overall time it took to open all the applications. So instead of me subjecting, subjectively telling you which is fast or trying to slow down the video, uh, we'll have some actual numbers recorded. So we can take a look at those numbers at the end. Um, but A, I thought it was an easier way to do it and B, um, a lot more uh, it takes a lot of the human element and some of the subjectiveness out of uh, the launch times here. And the last thing I'm going to say about app opening tests is nowadays a lot of these phones, especially the, even the less expensive phones like an Honor 8, OnePlus 3, OnePlus 3T, um, Leiko, Lip Pro 3, and the S3, all these cheaper phones, they compete very well with these high-end phones here like the HTC 10 and the Pixel XL. And by high-end, I just mean really expensive. And so um, app opening is um, in all these devices with very similar specs is very going to be very close. And uh, oftentimes it's down to milliseconds. And so it's up to you to kind of determine is that enough of a factor to have an app open a millisecond or maybe a few seconds longer if it's something intensive like a game. Is that the deciding factor that's going to sway you from choosing another device? That being said, um, let's try to get on with this test here and show you guys how the HTC 10 performs against arguably probably the smoothest and fastest running Android phone, uh, the Pixel XL. So just to kind of make this all fair, I'm going to try to reboot these things. So we'll do a restart on them just so that we clear everything out, start fresh and make everything fair here. And now we're going to launch Disco Mark and load up the apps that we want to be able to test here. Okay, we've got all the same apps on both the HTC 10 and the Pixel XL selected here. So we're just going to hit start. It's going to cycle through uh, the test twice. So the first time it'll go through and launch the apps from scratch. Um, nothing is loaded, obviously, since, since I already restarted it. The second time it cycles through, it's just going to be reloading it from memory, obviously. So all the apps, same apps selected on both. Um, we'll cycle through it twice, and we'll see the results at the end.
All right, and it looks like it finished. And like you said, like I said before, with Disco Mark, you can see each of the individual app opening times here. So, for example, you know, Amazon opened up faster here. Um, Android Central opened up faster on HTC 10 as well. Um, and you keep going down the list. Um, overall time. So it displays the time at the bottom here, which is the overall time it took to open all these apps. Over the, and that's the average over the course of those two runs there. So I'll scroll through the list and you can kind of um, take a look for yourselves. So you can pause the video, take a look and compare some times if you want. But overall, um, the Pixel XL slightly faster at 4.431 seconds versus the HTC 10 at 4.956 seconds. So, and you can kind of see it cycling through the test there as it went through. So, I mean, very, very marginal difference, like I was saying at the beginning. Um, Pixel XL uh, is slightly faster. Now, is that um, split second there enough to change your mind and saying, well, is that much faster that I really want the Pixel over the HTC 10? Uh, or... You know, you can take that and incorporate that with a bunch of other factors that you think about using the devices, performance being one of them, and figure out which one um, really is better suited for you. And so all I'm trying to do is provide some information here um, and another data point for you to use in your purchase decision. If you're considering the Pixel XL or HTC 10, or if you're just curious what these two devices were like and how they performed in some real world kind of situations as far as how fast they launched some apps. So... Uh, hopefully this was helpful for you. Um, the other thing I wanted to kind of quickly show was that I've got Android and Nougat on the HTC 10 here. Um, we can go through and verify. Um, of course, Pixel XL is running Android um, 7.1. HTC 10 just got the Android N update, so it's on 7.0. It's got the November security patch on the HTC 10 while... Um, Pixel XL has the same. Um, so just wanted to show you what software versions we're running here. Fairly similar. They're both on Android Nougat. Um, and again, like I said, hopefully the test was helpful for you. Uh, if you're just curious about the devices and or we're considering either one of these. Uh, personally for me, the HTC 10 has really surprised me in performance. Day-to-day um, -day it's very snappy. App opening like you just saw is very quick. Um, a lot faster than I remember it. I'm not sure if that's because of Android N. I don't really remember how, um, I can't do a comparison. I didn't, I don't have another HTC 10, uh, with, uh, Marshmallow on it. But from what I remember, um, it, I don't recall it being this fast and fluid. And it's really surprised me, um, in day-to-day -day usage and even in some of these kind of tests, like, like you're seeing here, um, and how fast and snappy it really is. So I'll have my full review of the HTC 10 coming up. So, um, look, stay tuned and uh, look out for that uh, maybe and hopefully by the end of the week. Uh, we'll see. But um, again, hopefully this was added some information that was very helpful for you. For you. And um, as always, thanks for watching.